We begin tonight in Uvalde, where a father barred from school property months ago is celebrating a legal victory. UCISD lifted its ban against Adam Martinez following threats of a lawsuit back in May. Ken's Five reporter Zach Briggs shares how this decision highlights constitutional rights. It's always been about the safety of the children. Adam Martinez has been an outspoken critic of Uvalde CISD, pushing for accountability after it took police 77 minutes to take down the shooter at Robb Elementary. Son's still afraid to go back, and um, I don't blame him. My daughter was there, and she was constantly in fear. The school district banned Martinez from school property for two years. District officials claimed he was disruptive during the February 13th Board of Trustees meeting. The father of two is seen here talking with Uvalde Schools Police Chief Joshua Gutierrez, expressing concern about a recent officer hire. I wanted to make sure that whoever they did hire was qualified. So after I did some vetting, uh, the sheriff told me that this guy was not eligible for your hire according to his standards. There is a very worrying trend across the country right now, not just in Texas of local government officials trying to use their power over community meetings to silence members of the public who they don't agree with. But the First Amendment puts a stop to that. Two months after threatening to sue, Uvalde CISD's lawyers sent this letter to Martinez's attorneys, allowing him on school grounds once again. Martinez hopes this serves as a learning opportunity for everyone. People think you have to sit down and just shut up. And, you know, we have the right to speak up if something's not right. Zach Briggs, Ken's Five.